next match series a little later on tonight. It's, uh, do you want to check on the two, Bob? It's a bit bent and dint, but I've kept it as a special memento of all my test match toss-ups. Is that the same one you always win with? That's you the same one we always that. win with, This yeah. is a head, yep. and that's not a tail, is it? No, it's a platypus. So yeah, well, okay. Give that to Paul to let him make the toss. Give that to Paul to let him make the toss. No, I'll toss. He calls. Oh, okay. Because he don't, I don't call good. You don't do anything good, Ed. Just remember one thing. You, you, you got the message. You win this will be the first thing you've ever won. You lose, Buckwheat. <laughs> Come on, toss that coin. Tails, platypus. We got it. No, you didn't. It's a queen. It's a queen's head. Paul McHugh has won the toss. He'd. Uh, I'm sure he'd talk underwater, that Ed Wilbur. Paul McHugh's won the toss for the Australians. Rod, we're now about to get into the busy part of our racing program. French is coming out. Graham Lilford's out. I suppose Ed thinks that the only way he can win is to disqualify the Australian cars. Ray Godsey is out. Let's see. The time is ticking away on the American team. It looks like Ray Godsey's going to have to do it on his own. It's going to be two against one. Thirty-three. Rod, uh, whilst you're uh, just doing that, the team and managers are right beside me. Ed Wilber, what have you got to say? Well, I think what you got to have is there a chiropractor in the crowd? Because we need one for these officials to bend over so far backwards, they'll need their back put back in place. They don't even know how to run a good race. Hey, in the first place, there was only one car left. If they run one car, we'd have won this damn meet. I don't understand this. Then they got to bend over because I didn't get out there. Two seconds, three seconds, what do you want? These are mechanical things. You know that? You know that official up there, that chrome dome? He's in trouble. He's in trouble. A very upset Ed Wilbur at the moment over the uh, official conduct. Have you, got, have you got a reply on behalf of the Australians? Did you think everything was fair and above board? Well, let's face it, Ross, these rules and regulations were written by the Yanks about four years ago. Uh, they, they won a race on us here some years with the same thing. They can't keep their cars together. That's their problem. I felt that, that uh, Paul McHugh was keeping the pressure right on you throughout the meeting. He uh, felt uh, didn't feel one ounce sorry for you, and he was keeping the pressure right up. Yeah, he knows how to kick a man when they're down. We know that. That's the Australian way of play, huh? Kick a man when he's down? No good, no. We're going to see you back here on Sunday night. Oh, you're going to see us back here? Hey, if I have to, I'll get four brand new cars and bring them out here. That junk over there, just one time, brand new cars, little problem. We'll be back with bells on. Bring your friends and watch the Aussies lose. That uh, mayhem, I'm sure you'll have an answer to the, uh, the outspoken American captain. The uh, Australian team are protecting the victory tonight. You're super confident. Oh, of course we are. Isn't it lovely to have so many fine, talented drivers here at the Motodrome to draw on when one guy has problems? OK, he said it all. Here's Toss. You're the visitor, Paul yeah, McHugh. He tossed last time. Yeah, but visitors get to do the calling. We do it our way here. My toss toss the coin, Paul. Just try and drive as fast as you're talking, Eddie. Oh, no worry. Flip the coin. How about tails? Yes, you've won the toss. Well, 
He's won the toss. The American team have won the toss. The drivers will now uh, take their cars back from the apron of the track rod and we'll get down to the action tonight. United Welcome States to you. 20 and uh, for Australia, McEwen scored three points for the USA. Budsey scored two points, Mike Klein one point. So a three all. The time, Having uh, a discussion, I believe, with the steward about one of those heats, were you? Now, you all know that one of the heats over there, Mike, my good, soft friend buddy, was coming through there, and somebody run him in the wall. Now, I'm not going to say who it was, but his first name is Paul May, Paul Newman. But anyway, he run him into the wall, so actually we won tonight, so that makes two wins for the Yankees, one for the Aussies. Now, the only other bad driver tonight was a, we know Ralph Ranger when he backed to me, right? I was coming out of the corner and he backed into me. That was all right, but the rest of the, the better driver tonight that I ever seen, the crowd's the worst I ever seen. I can't believe that. Okay, well, you'd be happy with pulling back five point loss to a draw situation. You've got to be happy with that. No, I'm not happy we didn't draw. That score says 36 36 means nothing. So my girlfriend, but hey, that's beside the point. The main thing is we have 38, they have 34. Count it up yourself. He put him in the wall. Didn't you see the flag out there? You yeah. didn't see the flag? Yeah, but it was not held by the steward. Don't matter who holds it, it's still out there, ain't it? Okay, we'll see you back here, Ed Wilbur. Now the How come now they're telling us that they're going to bring that last car that just hot lapped? They're going to bring it out here and race against us. Hey, there was four cars out there. We only got the same four cars. What the hell's going on now? Come on. Hey, you can't do that. Four cars. We only got four cars. Hey, you bearded wonder. Come here, you. Don't you walk away when I'm talking to you. How come four cars? We only got four cars. We got four cars. They got four cars. Come on. What? I don't care if it's another test. I got the same four cars. Boy, I tell you what, Australians know how to cheat. I'll tell you that. They do. Bye-bye, Ed. If we let you go all night, we'll be here till midnight. They're um, just having a little altercation here with uh, Ed Wilbur. The steward was also showing some concern with the Mike Klein car. He uh, feels that there may be a bit of a tire or an accident problem. Hey, you stop the race for one car, but you don't stop it for the next. You know what? You are one-sided, and we would have got another point out of that. But, oh, no, you do it the way you want to, don't you, every time. You know what? You're prejudiced. You are a prejudiced person. You're going to get fined $100 from me. I don't know why you go crook at him. He's been looking after you on the starts all damn night. Oh, no, he yeah. ain't. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. What's in it, You're dumb. Hey, look after his start. He's so blind, he couldn't see what one car the next. Uh, yeah, I'll come up there. Hey, hey, I'll flag him. I'll flag him. I can see a lot better than you without my glasses. Well, Ed Wilbur and... Uh, the race out. Let's hear what Ed Wilbur's got to say. Over here, what are you going to do? You're going to give him a point when there's his track clear across the infield. Did they get a point for that? Huh? Look at his tracks clear across the 
on the green grass. What is that? Come on. Is that fair? He cut across. I might as well go across that way. One point off. One point off. Come on. Hey, you know what it is. You don't care. Look at his track. Look at his track right there. Look at the tracks. Cut across the infield. Is that fair? Yeah. I haven't had the chance to speak to you tonight because I got here late and I've been wrapped over the knuckles and everything about it. The test match. Three drawn tests and one win to the Australians. One nil you go back home a disappointed man? I don't have to go back home a disappointed man, but I've never seen anybody get a trophy for a tie. How can they get a trophy? No, one nil. They won the test series they one nil. didn't win the test. If you know that doesn't mean 30, it means 35, 37 Yankees. You can't cut across the infield and get a point. And you can't stop on the middle of the track when the green flag's going because that puts him down a lap. John Pine down a lap for stopping on the green flag. My God, let's not be stupid about it. Everybody knows that. When the green flag comes out, you got to race. You can't stop and say, oh, restart it again. I wasn't ready. Oh, come on. Come on. Hey, they don't deserve them trophies, and you know it. All right, well, you've had your say. What about John Pine? You stopped on the middle of the track. What do you feel? I think that uh, the positions were running in the wrong wrong place because uh, I think Mike Klein stopped the race and he should have started fourth and they were putting me in fourth. I don't think I was in the right position, so the race shouldn't have commenced. All right, you're happy about an Australian victory. Mike Klein, before you head back, well, it's great to have you out here again. and. Uh